I'm doing a couple of vid more videos. Uh, so I've got one today showing you how to wire up hot water cylinder to a socket. Um, and I'll also do a light switch, um, two way light switch and wiring up a light switch. So for this video I'll show you how to wire up one of these. Now this is an isolation switch for a hot water cylinder. Um, and I won't be doing an actual hot water cylinder but I'll show you with the cables I've got. So this for instance will be the feed coming from the switchboard. So this will be the one sticking out the wall. And this here will be the flex from the hot water cylinder. Um, obviously you want something that is heat resistant and able to cut, um, carry the current um, for the hot water cylinder. This cable would not suit um, an actual hot water cylinder but for the purpose of this video I'll be using it. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure that this cable here is not live at all. Um, and to do that you can just use your multimeter, um, test it. It's got no voltage coming out there or that red light will be lit up. And then go up to one that you know is live and test it there. And then test it again. So my multimeter's got non-contact voltage on it, so it's like a voltage tester, a uh, volt, volt sensor. So first thing is to strip this cable. Now that that one's all stripped, what you want to do is get the switch out. You want to get this cover plate. Now it's very important that you slide this on to your hot water cylinder cable first. It's something that Sparkies always forget to do and they wire the whole thing up and then realise they've left the cover plate off. So you don't want to piss around twice on a job. Throw that on first. Move it away down the cable somewhere. Uh, then next what you want to do is strip the cable. Now you guys probably want to do it by knife or um, an actual cable flex cable stripper which is like a sharp blade that spins around the cable because I'm experienced and I know the feel of these cables so I don't make marks on these cables where it breaks the insulation at all. Um, but yeah, after after you've working with these cables for a while, you actually get the feel of them. So you can do it with side cutters. Next thing, what you want to do is strip these cables back. Like so. And then simply thread it through. Now make sure that that clamp is not tight. And then you want to thread it through that hole. Now the fun part. So you're going to get your two green cables. What you want to do is separate the core on them both and then twist them together. <coughs> and then, and then um, make sure you're not snapping them as you twist them up. Twist them up nice and tightly. Don't know if you can see that. Cut the ends off, and then screw a connector onto it. So 
same with the black and, and do that to the blue cable on the flexible cable blue's neutral on these twist these up then throw a connector on it again Red cable and twist on its own. Trim it down to length. And then on the back of the switch, you'll see number one, a C, a two, and a loop terminal. Now the loop terminal works just like one of these connectors. Number one. Um, as a switch, when the switch is turned on, number one will be live. When the switch is turned off, number two will be live. So you don't even need to use number two. Um, this red cable from the switchboard will go into the C terminal, common. And then you just want to tighten that screw up. Uh, the next cable, the brown core off the flexible cable on the hot water cylinder side, you want to twist it by hand, nice and tight, cut it off so you've got enough length to fold it over, like so, and then that will go into terminal 1 on the back of the switch. Now before you screw it onto the wall, after you've terminated, you always want to do the pull test where you pull on the cables in the terminals, make sure they're in there nice and firmly. And I'll give you a close up of this so you can actually see what's going on. So I've got the brown core into the one, and this cable comes from the hot water cylinder. And then I've got the red cable going into the C. And this comes from your switchboard. Two green cables together, blue and the black together for neutral. Now when you liven her up, you want to test between the red, test the green. Make sure your meter's on volts AC and you should have 240 volts. Now when you switch the switch on, make sure that the hot water cylinders got water in it and it's full you don't want to have the element running with nothing in there you screw your socket back to the wall then you slide your plate up the cable and onto the isolator so it's probably good practice for you guys not to use these to connect your flexibles to TPS if you're just starting out on these it's probably more advisable to use a connector that looks like this and most of these switches come with them anyway. So with these what you want to do is twist up your flexible cable, cut it down to size, fold it in half, screw it into one end of this. Give a pull test, and then same for the other side. Just, just twist it around. Don't fold it in half, obviously, or else it won't fit. But um, chuck it in the other side of the connector. So that is the the advisable way to do it, especially if you've never done it before. Anyway, cheers for watching.